Our next little trick or treat gift is Halloween with new Adams family. Back then it was new, but hey. John asked Carolyn Jones, Jackie Corgan, Ted Cassandra, Cassady, Lisa Lawrence, and Ken Weatherwack, and Felix Slime. This was a classic. And they add Gomez as a brother. Wish they'd done that later on with, of course, uh, Uncle Fester for that definite story. Gomez but did have had two more children, Wednesday Jr. and Pugsy Jr. Wednesday Jr. and Pugsy Jr. That is so not creative. How about like, oh, I don't know, Thirteena? Or how about um, Fungus Jr.? Fungus or Thirteena? Those are good names. Who strongly resemble their older siblings? Gomez's brother, Pancho? That's a weird name. He stayed with the family while Gomez tends the lodge, meaning Tombstone at his door. And Gomez is Joseph's brother, who once courted Morticia at Halloween near. He yeah. tells the story of legend of the great pumpkin-like character, Cousin Shaw, who is delivered and given gifts of pumpkin carvings for good children on Halloween night. Oh boy. It's like Santa Claus for Christmas, but instead it's for Halloween. Remember heard of Cousin Shaw until I watched this movie? I first saw this when I was about... Mm, mm. One time Sally was Blanc was born, actually, I think. That was a long time ago. In any case, um, alright. Rudister. Wednesday, now called Wednesday Senior, is home for Music Academy, where she studies the piccolo, breaking glass with it. Pugsy, now Pugsy Senior, is home for Nirubu Medical School. Yeah, he's a witch doctor now. Which is very good. The family home has been bugged by a gang of crooks. Who tend to steal the family fortune. Lapidy the boss sends a gang member named Mikey into the house to investigate. Mikey panic and flee after treating off a tail, the kitty cat, the lion, the crook, the crook empire fake, the crook employed a fake Gomez. But then most of the time, we also see Mother Frank, or as Morticia's mother, who tries to learn how to try to do a fire bloom, which is my mistake, is quite always difficult for her to do it. This, anime, this movie was kind of old, but hey, this day, it's really good, actually. They try to employ a fake Morticia and a fake Gomez to help their plane, along with two strong armed goons, Hercules and Atlas. Gomez returns home for Halloween party, trimmed, trimming of the Scarecrow, which is like the Christmas tree, but only the But I'll free to post as Quincy Adams, from Boston, to gain entrance to the house during the party. He has his men tipped off Gomez and says, and the doubles take their place. We confuse Pancho, who is still in love with Matissa, and Orpheus, who is still in love with Gomez. Gomez and Matissa escape thanks to old Piccolo game that her that luckily Gomez taught Little Wednesday when she was little about to gain contact when you're getting in trouble. George Byron had loved to use Bowie's method to try to get rid of them. Lurch scared off the thugs, terrifying love and assistance. And apparently he was in fall in love with the guy who dressed up as a girl, as a girl. Wow. So dumb and stupid. Hey, but he's still a monster. Very super strong. And Vincent tries to be nice and put Luffy on the rack. Luffy tries to escape through the secret passage and step on Kitty Cat's tail, which has been under the crooks utterly surrender and Adams free to celebrate their Halloween. And then in the night by singing together the Welcome to Cousin song. But then Gomez feels like, you know, all that not, but then he heard the voice of Cousin Shaw, and then there was gifts and presents for all of them, and all ended on a very good package of Halloween Eve. That was that is a good movie. And as he so said, this movie was made long ago. I never saw this before. As I've mentioned, I did tell you I we did watch this on the day I birthed Sally Luck, which was a pain. Hey! Sorry, honey. It's 1977. It was a good movie. Which was very good, actually. But the casting for Blooming Rock, who pushes 
Her mom was ill at the time produced, and she died of January of 1970. Nearly three months for the special aired, causing her role Grandma Mom to portray as an actress, Jane Rose. Character actress portrayed Barrow, Vito Scotti, who both occurred in roles in the original series, who appeared in the movie, but different characters they portrayed in the original. This movie was sold in a home in uh, 1989 in Good Times Movie Video Releases. Halloween Renew and Family to VHS. Which it hasn't got a, a DVD released. It should though. This movie was very good. I mean, seriously. Poncho. I didn't really care for Poncho. I didn't really care. Because Poncho was a new character that he invented. They tried to add him to the movie, but well, rumor has it that he didn't do so well, and they never had him in the TV show. Never mentioned, really. Only in the movie, which is very odd. But I love how much the show was, Lurch was, and of course, Wednesday and Puckley are both my two favorite characters. At least, Wednesday Sr. was able to help her father out of a sticky situation, or a knifely sticky situation, if you know what I mean. And there you have it. This movie was good. Now, all I could say... For the old effects back then were charming and rustic. But I like the I like the the old fashioned way of their Halloween movie was very good. But Cousin Sean, really Cousin Shaw as Santa Claus? Oh Lord heaven helps me please. In any case folks, that's my review for the <clears throat> Halloween with the new Adams family. So guys, enjoy the next couple weeks until Halloween comes. Because Halloween will be knocking. Who was that? Boo! Ah! Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. <laughs>